as we look at our calendars and, and see that it's uh, September is, is already in view, we know that, uh, well, the temperature won't be changing anytime soon and, and the leaves won't be flying and turning brown, but it is a, a, a fall on the calendar and uh, during that time frame, uh, always celebrate uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. And folks over at Polk County Parks and Rec uh, always going out and, uh, and celebrating the event itself. And, and joining us in studio is Anna San Crusado. Anna's gonna tell us a little bit about uh, what Parks and Rec has in, in store for us. And uh, they have one special event to uh, celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. How you doing today, Anna? I'm good. Yeah, How are you? Uh, getting in, uh, getting ready. Kids are out of school. You guys had a lot of success in uh, in the summer programs, right? Yes, we did. Yeah, they had a lot of kids coming, but now they're back in school, and and, and you got to prepare them. And and the event that's coming up just around the corner is Hispanic Heritage Month. Uh, where are we going to do that? We're going to hold it at the Eloise Resource Center um, in Eloise. Uh, let, let's talk. Uh, let's talk time frame. Uh, now, as we were doing the pre-interview, uh, Hispanic Heritage Month is kind of unique in in the planning of it because it runs from from what date to what date? It runs from September fifteenth to October fifteenth. And then you guys uh, have something right dead in the middle of it, the actual Hispanic Heritage Festival on. September 28th. All right. So, for folks that have never been there, uh, one of the one of the secrets that uh, that people re really need to get out and experience is uh, is is our resource centers, and especially the one in Eloise. Talk a little bit about that when it's not being used. Um, the Eloise Resource Center. We have various programs we hold in the center. We have um, computers that are open to the public. Um, our after school program that runs Monday through Friday. Um, during the school calendar, our senior program, and various other tenants inside the building too. Talk about the importance uh, of a resource center like that. I mean, you know, when, when we think about this, you know, we think everybody's got computers at home or everybody has access to one thing or another, but uh, the bottom line, these are tough economic times and, and resource centers uh, are exactly what they say. They're, they're a chance for the community to, uh, to better themselves if they don't have capabilities or, or the means to get to things. A resource center is a resource to its community. It, it helps um, the community um, with Im information, um, helps the children with um, educational programs like our after school program. A lot of people in that community, a lot of the parents, uh, for example, they don't speak really good English. So that's where we step in and we help them with their homework. Um, they, they tend to rely on us for for the small things, to read a letter or, or something like that, you, you'd start to build relationships with people in the community. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, Hispanic Heritage Festival itself. Uh, it's, it's, it's at one of many uh, venues that we have in the county. Uh, what are we looking at? What, what's going to be going on there? What's, what's on the day's events? Get me excited. Get me in tune. Get me there. <laughs> uh, we're actually going to be having live entertainment. Um, and we're going to be having exhibitors, several food vendors, which is different types of Hispanic cuisine, anywhere from Mexican to Honduran, Puerto Rican. Um, we'll also be having arts and crafts for the kids, face painting, balloon artists, bouncy houses. Ah, uh, bounce houses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll have like an art exhibit inside the building as well. Um, let's talk a little bit about, you, you mentioned the vendors, uh, still time for people to get involved with it if they'd like to become vendors? Yes, of course. Yeah, we still, we still have space and time. So how do they go about doing that? Um, they can call the Resource Center, which is 863-298-4485. Okay. Uh, I know another thing that's very important uh, and near and dear to you all that uh, is volunteers, always in need of volunteers. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can use volunteers for this and how so? Yes, we can use volunteers for this and um, up until the day of the event, if somebody decides they want to volunteer, just give us a call or show up an hour before the event so we can get you signed in. You know, we always talk about volunteers, you know, uh, playing a role in in some of the, the activities that you have going on. But what are some of the things that volunteers do? Um, they help us out like with the crafts, um, with other things like um, tending to our bounce houses, making sure the kids aren't, you know, hitting each other, <laughs> going crazy in there, going too bouncy crazy in there. Yeah, the, you, you can't take the wiffle ball bats <laughs> in the bouncy house. 
Yeah, if you let them, all of them will go in there all yeah, at once. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what else would they do? Um, they help us with that, with sign-ins, um, anything um, as far as um, like areas in the event, as far as like arts and crafts and other educational things. Uh, it, it usually takes, uh, it takes a lot of effort, whether it be on staff's part or volunteers' part. Uh, talk about what it takes to put on a, 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 an event like this. Uh, a lot of a lot of planning. <laughs> are, are you <laughs> organization? Are, are, you, are you on that committee? <laughs> yes, a lot of organization so, and networking. So, when it, it's, it's a once a year project. I mean, do you do you keep notes on? Okay, we did it this way last year. It was a, a success. This year, we're looking. Uh, you know, how far in advance do you plan this? And and then and then what, how do you learn from you know what was success or what you know what might have missed? Um, we we have act we actually critique all our events and we also have a response card um, survey that we do at all our events to see what the community liked, what they didn't like, what worked, what didn't work, um, and we try. It's pretty much trial and error. If it doesn't work one year, you try something else. <laughs> you you have a lot of great community partners and and the likes of sponsorship. Do you have a title sponsor for this? Um, not at the moment. So which means yes, it is yeah. available mm -hmm. if the folks would like to get behind this. Uh, how do they go about doing as such? They can contact me at the Eloise Resource Center. And that number is? 863-298-4485. Yeah, so with, uh, we got just a few minutes left and what I'd like you to do is inspire the folks at home to make sure they stop by and check this out. Um, come on out and join us for the Hispanic Heritage Festival. It's a great family environment. Um, it's free, admission free. Um, that's, that's the big ticket right there yeah. is it's free. Yes, <laughs> um, and we'll be running it from 12 to 4, and everybody's welcome. Well, Anna, as usual, anything that uh, Parks and Rec has, has lined up, uh, you guys are always welcome to come and join us on, uh, uh, on Polk Place, and we enjoy having you in with us. Thank you. I love coming. And we look forward to seeing you at this year's Hispanic Heritage Festival. It's scheduled for Saturday, September 28th from 12 to 4 p.m. It's at the Eloise Resource Center. The address there is 710 Snively Avenue. It's in Eloise, of course. Now you're thinking to yourself, what are you going to get to get me there? I'm saying free admission. Uh, now, keep in mind that some vendors will charge fees, but uh, that free admission to get you in the door, free. Good stuff. Now, uh, in conjunction with Hispanic Heritage Month that runs September 15th through October 15th, this is a celebration of the Hispanic culture through music, art, and food. I'm talking music, talking live entertainment, art exhibits, arts and crafts, face painters, balloon artists, games for the children, and of course, delicious Hispanic cuisine will be prepared by local vendors and available to purchase, all right? So make sure you check it out, the Hispanic Heritage Festival. You need more information, go to parksandret.polk-county.net or give them a call at 298-4485.